Professor David here, got to talk to you today about something real serious, okay? Especially for you guys that got a short fuse, especially for you guys that are ego-driven, okay? Name of this video is, You Disrespect Me. How many times have you heard that? You disrespect me, okay? You disrespect me? So because somebody disrespect you, you got to do something about that disrespect. So now that you did something about that disrespect, what do you think is going to happen? You think it ends like that? I got a question for you. How many people are in prison today, right now? How many people that got locked up yesterday? All because somebody disrespected them Okay, said something that they didn't like, looked at their girl, not their wife, but some girl that they might be with, okay? And because of that, sat on their car, stared at them a certain way, and because of that, blows, violence, something happened, altercation. Guess what? After the altercation, then comes you got to answer for whatever you did. Now comes you're going to go through the system. See, but it still ain't real to you yet. In your mind, yo, F that. I did what I had to do. Ain't going to let nobody chump me. Ain't nobody disrespect me like that. Ain't nobody look at me like that. Ain't nobody want to think I'm soft. Right? Hell with that. You called me out? I stepped up. I represented. Okay. Now, still ain't real to you yet. Now, you go through the system. Now, it still ain't real. Until you get locked up. And they take that jail cell and go, clink. See ya. You got to wait to see the judge. Stay in prison the whole weekend. Now, you're sitting in that jail cell, and you're looking around, and you're going, Why the, what the hell am I doing here? See? And for you knuckleheads who say, yo, okay, it is what it is. You guys are special. You see, the special people, this is what happened to you guys. Now, you go see the judge. And it just set up, attempted murder, 7 to, 7 to 15. For you guys, but the judge says, oh, you murdered him? Oh, now nah, that's 15 to 25. All because, oh, I can't let nobody disrespect me. See, a lot of you much martial arts guys, a lot of you guys who train, a lot of you fighters, you think you can't wait to get into a fight in the street. That's what's in your mind. You can't wait to do what you practice. Okay? You can't wait to throw blows with somebody. Go ahead. I'm talking real now. See, I'm not going to jail for no nonsense. I'm not going to jail because you said something I didn't like. Not going to jail because, I, because, because of that. You said something I didn't like and I'm going to go to prison for that? No. Okay? You got to be smarter than that. You got to tell the woman that you're with. Yo, listen. We're going out. Anything jump off. Keep quiet. Don't escalate it. Don't agitate it. Keep your mouth shut. Stay back. If I have to get into something, stay, walk away. Okay? You got to tell the person that you're with, listen, you do something foolish, you're on your own. You're on your own. Because I'm not going to get into no nonsense because you ain't dressed appropriately and if somebody says something, are you going to put me in harm's way?
You see, that's what happens a lot outside there. All these stupid shootings that you hear these young guys, oh, shot up a barbecue, shot up somebody in this church, shot up somebody here. All because somebody said something or said something to a woman, looked at a woman, and a guy, oh, I can't let that go. So now you're going to shoot up a bunch of people. Most of the time, you don't shoot the person who caused the altercation. You shoot the innocent people because somebody disrespect you. Okay? Guys, master your emotions. Part of the Ten Commandments is self-defense. And for you guys out there who call yourself fighters and you guys who think you, you tough, you guys who think you badass, you guys who think, oh, I'm a black belt or this and that, man, I'm just going to wait in the street. I'm just going to tear someone apart. Really? Really? You're going to lose everything you work for. You're going to lose everything and your family because somebody said something to you. Think about it, guys. Use your head. Professor V once told me, and I'm going to say this to you. How many people are in prison today if they would have only thought three seconds before they did what they did? Count one, two, three. You know what? Not worth it. I'm walking away from you because I'm not going to go to jail for you. I'm not spending the rest of my life behind bars for you. Obviously, you call me an a-hole, you're an a-hole, and guess what? I might be the a-hole today, us, I'll walk away from that. Because if I got to do what I got to do, I know what's going to happen to you. You're going to go somewhere where they're going to be throwing dirt on you, and I'm going to be locked away in a cell for the rest of my life. So there's no winners. There's no winners. If somebody is not trying to hurt you or your family, and I don't mean the girl you hanging with. I don't mean the girl you picked up, okay? If it ain't your wife or your children or your daughter, your son or daughter, to hell with that, okay? You going out with a bunch of boys and your boys start some nonsense? Us, let them deal with it. Warn them before you go out with them. Because everybody will walk with me, no. Guys, don't get in no problems. Because if you do, you're on your own. If you started it. But, if you didn't start it, then we rock and roll. But that's the way it works. Guys, master your emotions. And do not let people in the street who have their own problems, they walk in the street with problems, do not let their problems become your problems. Don't let it happen. Be smarter than that. Because you don't know five seconds before that guy bumped into you, his wife just left him. Five seconds before that waitress said something nasty to you or didn't serve you the way you want to be serving. You said something to her and an altercation breaks out Say, think about it. Maybe somebody did something to her. Hey, you seen the video we put up with the guy with the push cart? The lady bumped into him and he went and grabbed the push cart and slapped her in her face. What the hell was going on with him? What was going on with that dude that he couldn't say? Miss, please. Pay attention. Get off the cell phone, please. Okay? Instead, if we have a law, if we have law and order, that guy should be in jail right now. No bail. In jail for smashing somebody in the face with a push cart. Next time you go to Home Depot, next time you go to Lowe's, Next time you go to BJ's or Costco, try to pick up that push cart over your head to see how hard it is to see what that guy literally had to do to put that cart in that woman's face. I guarantee you, 95% of you soft men out there, you marshmallow men, you can't pick that push cart up. All you can do is push it. So 
So just understand what rage that guy had when he picked that push card up. Okay? All because, why? Oh, he can't let that lady disrespect him by touching him with the cart. That's disrespectful. I got to kill her for that. But you're a knucklehead. Guys, like, comment, show this video to other people because you know and I know you know knuckleheads that I'm talking about. So let them see this video, okay? And you get them to understand, bro, you got lucky. Stop while you're ahead. Master your emotions. Master your emotions and learn to let things go. Learn to say, us. Like, comment, subscribe. To another level.